where now we live in a the internet era where it's cool to diss dead homies and say fuck this guy or fuck that guy. And most of this is fans that don't even know what's going on. They just, like you said before, fans of the music and they pick the side. They pick their rapper they're gonna choose to root for and things of that nature. And then you got rappers who just diss dead homies. Like that's the cool thing to do now. Yeah. I've never really heard you diss a dead homie before um, in your music. But in this era, it's, it's that's the thing to do. Like it's the, it's the way to be disrespectful. Like what's your take on People being so open with being disrespectful to to dead people these days. I feel like if I did do it, I, I feel like it was on accident, <laughs> or somebody somebody probably took what I said. Because like as far as my gangster tracks, like my gangster killing tracks, stuff like that, it might come close to sounding like something going on. But I, I'm nine times ten, I don't be talking about nobody. But I know sometimes it be seeming close. But uh, as far as the rapping about dead people. I'm scared of that shit, bro. All right, because I don't know how people get down in, in uh, up, they, the police get down in other states, but if I get on Instagram today or tomorrow and I say, uh, I'm smoking on Lil John John, and that's a, one of my, my ops partners who just died, yeah, we just smoked Lil John John, like, them people come get me. <laughs> yeah, because they take everything we say serious like, well. You talking about the police? You talking about the feds or? All of them. They, okay. take, they take what we say serious as a motherfucker. So, I mean, even my partners, like, sometimes they get mad and, you know, they don't know how to control their they anger sometimes. I be telling them, like, take that shit down. <laughs> Fuck all that. Take that shit down. You see, I'm scared. I'm telling you. Oh, yeah, I ain't, it's too much money. I shouldn't be doing all that shit, though. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. know, one thing about Louisiana, Louisiana always been a real serious state. Um, and... You don't really see too much of y- y'all. Louisiana rappers really leave it in the street for real. You don't really see too much internet like other rap scenes. You know what I mean? It ain't too I much say, content you could get from Louisiana when it come to beef. I say that's true outside of the people that don't do nothing. So the people who don't, who not really doing nothing in the streets, are the ones that will do some internet shit. Which they'll do it every time, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, like some social media shit going on, they'll do it. But that should let you know what caliber they is and what 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 ranking they is, you know what I'm saying? What mm-hmm. level they on. Um, so, so people like that, they give us a bad look, you know what I'm saying? Because that's not that's not the that's culture. Not, that's no way how we ever got down, you know what I'm saying? Like our way, our police serious. <laughs> Like, man, them motherfuckers want you under the jail. So anybody who done actually been in the streets and, and did time or did this, they know how easy it is to get in locked up and how hard. They they say this all the time. It's easy to get into, hard to get out, hard to get out of. That shit is, like, for real. Like, that shit's serious. You know what I'm saying? So just, I mean, like I say, if you sit back and just watch people and they buy the language, and like, I it got Levay Levay out of Banks Town. He got a song uh, called Op Pack. And he say he say check out his body language. He ain't got no biters. You know what I'm saying? Basically letting you know like look how he acting. Look how he moving. You know what I'm saying? Some go on, some go on on Instagram. Somebody died. He the first one repping on it. You know what I'm saying? I sure wouldn't be repping on some on Instagram if I did it. You know what I'm saying? People out of yeah. body language. Yeah, if if you notice as of late, a lot of people who are open about dissing dead homies, it's like it shortens your lifespan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, like I've seen a lot of people. I have a lot to look. That shit that shit real, cause I told I say 2020, 2021, I wouldn't go make too many like weird shit or uh, songs. Cause like it's like every time I used to say say that shit or I used to rap at a stage, my, like I get a pain in my knee. What? Good talk. So in in both of your knees, your left knee, your right knee? It'd be mostly like probably my left one. Damn. Yeah. So yeah. That shit crazy, man. Yo, I'm telling you, man, if you keep making records like top, <laughs> <laughs> you you won't be unfuckwittable. 
Yeah. That's the that's the that's the music niggas need to start making, man. Shit that we can feel. Yeah, but the, you, but you know that's what music is the art of feeling. But I uh, I try to make my my uh, all my songs up based off my emotions. If I'm mad or sad, you know what I'm saying. Uh, I feel like that's how a lot of rappers should be doing. I know some people. Some people be talk, posting like they make their music off of what they've been through and saying they can't make music, they can't go, they, they ain't been through nothing. Like, and they just be complete cap. I done heard a rapper say he didn't beat the fed, had to had to beat the fed twice in their songs. That's completely cap. I don't know not one rapper alive right now. I don't think I know one person alive right now that beat the fed twice. You know what I'm saying? So it'd be crazy. No offense to them people, but it's just I don't know. I really make my shit off my emotions for sure. Real.